Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Excel VB Expert. In today's video, we will be learning how we can connect our Excel with the MS Excel. Already one video I had uh, created and uploaded on my YouTube channel. Already wherein I created the one uh, user form. Okay, through the user form, the data was getting inserted into the MS Excel database. All right. But in today's video, the say almost the same thing we will be doing. Okay. But the one thing will be the different which is actually very important okay that was the one uh, the one entry you know the one entry we were you know inserting in the ms access database okay through the user form but when it comes about to insert the data in the bulk into the ms access database then how we can do it okay that is what today we will be learning in this video all right so let's start to do without uh, without dealing all right so let me show you the access database okay i have this data all right this is my data okay which i want to insert okay which i want to insert uh, i want to insert this data all right into my ms access database let me show you the database as well i have i have my database here by the name of data if i will open it so here i have one uh, table which is sheet 1 if I will click on sheet 1, the same header I have, the header which I have in my Excel sheet, right? And I want to I want to upload this data, okay, in this table, okay, through VBA. How I can do it, okay, that is something, okay, and through loop we will be doing, alright, through loop we will be doing it. So, I am pressing Alt F11, alright, Alt I am, I am inserting the new module and I would like to write my code in the option explicit mode. Alright, in order to integrate our MS Access with uh, MS Access with Excel, we need to you know enable the one external library. Alright, so I, we have to go in tools in reference. Alright, in reference here we will be having the one library which is Microsoft ActiveX Data Object 6.10 library. Alright, this is what through this library only we can connect our MS Access database. Alright. So this is the mandatory thing which we have to do all right before writing the code so here i am writing procedure name upload data in one all right so i have a data from a5 right i need to stream connect for example as new adodb dot connection all right and after that I will take my record set my record set as new record set all right and for loop I am writing here a as a integer so set connect new ADODB connection I have already you know mentioned here new so it is up to you okay I am just removing and here I am setting the connect connect variable which i have declared on the top all right and next we have to set the micro course dot new adodb dot record set okay here i have already mentioned new you can also remove it okay or uh, if already you have mentioned the new here okay okay while declaring the variables you don't need to set it all right so for your clarification i i just removed and i set my variable here all right here i'm writing connect dot provider this is the string which we have to write microsoft dot ace dot oled one so uh, 12.0 all right here we need to open the database cnn dot open sorry connect dot open here it is saying okay connect dot option it is saying connection as a string all right so we need to open the data we need to open this database so right click or you can take the path security and this is the object name i just copied it and i'm going to paste it here all right i paste it here we need to run the loop in which sheet 
we need to also declare the sheet name dim sh as a worksheet all right i am going to set my sheet name this workbook dot sheet and come on so all that the data i have in sheet one you guys can see all right so here what i am going to i am going to uh, i am going to define here table okay and my uh, next line my record set dot open source it is asking me source source would be okay in which table basically i want to insert the data right so i want to insert the data in sheet 1 okay sheet 1 why i have mentioned here sheet 1 because if you will look at my uh, look at in my database so i have my table in this database by the name of sheet 1 right so whatever the database or whatever the table you have only you just need to define the name okay in the query all right i have defined here it is asking the connection active connection active connection is my connect all right and of ad open dynamic it is my cursor and ad lock optimistic all right so this is we write only for inserting uh, the data into the msx's database all right so what i can do now my uh, rows is starting from uh, a6 so i want to insert my data from a6 to a17 all right so here i would like to write code let's start my loop from row number 6 to cells sh dot cells rows dot count a and xml plus row next okay. here if range a if the if the cell is unequal to blank then what should be happen it should happen rst my record set so add new row and here my record set okay. my record set should be start from indexing start from zero value it should be s dot range a comma k dot value how many columns we have we have almost seven columns we have to copy and paste seven times already one two three four five six seven because why i have mentioned here index so in ms is what happened okay the column index start from zero so zero one two three four five and six all right and we need to also change the column name b c d e f and g and after adding the new we need to update it into our database update and if all right this is what we have to write here message box done. data uploaded successfully this is the code only you need to write okay through this code you can upload this data in the box so let's debug it okay so I am pressing F8, F8, F8. It is working quite good. Great. Okay. It worked. Great. 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 My data is getting insert. Update. Wow. All right. So I am pressing F5. Data uploaded successfully. Can we check now? Okay. Is my data really uploaded on my database or not? So I click and I'm, I, I will be double clicking on sheet one. Wow. What the things. Okay. Let me remove or delete all the data i have deleted all the data now nothing is here okay this table is empty completely i close this data all right and i am creating one button here developer insert upload data in bit all right upload data all right if i will click here so my data should get uploaded on the database wow how perfect it is uh, you guys can see okay only it even it has not taken uh, the i mean 15 second i think it has not taken okay in just few seconds now data has uploaded on my database okay let me check it. great my data actually got uploaded for example if again i am deleting this Data. now my table is empty what I am going I am going to increase the length increase the data I just increase the data copy and paste twice time 
now let's see how much time it is taking upload it wow great again it has not taken that much time let's see now i am opening the database and we'll double click on this table sheet one great my all the data actually got inserted all right so this is okay this is how you can insert your data okay in a very quick manner all right just in few line of a code all right this is the code only you this is the code okay which you have to write to uploading the bulk data into the ms access right great so apart from that if you have any question if you want to ask more if you if you want to ask anything okay in regards to this the particular question which i have spoken about in this video you may comment me all right in my comment uh, in the comment box in comment box i will definitely you know uh, replying you back all right so thank you so much everyone for watching this video thanks a lot please take care of yourself